So hey guys and welcome back to the channel. In today's video, it's going to be a little bit different. Y'all see the different scenery. I'm trying to do this while my son is napping. So I'm actually in the room with him. But today we're going to talk about screen time. And so many people ask me about screen time, how I feel about it, what I let my children watch, do they play games, how long do they watch it, and all of that. So we're going to be addressing that today. I do want to share this with y'all. I gave in about an Amazon Fire tablet. But it's about to go back to the store. So, I had purchased this one. It's the um, Fire HD Kids Pro. Right? And so, I purchased this because number one is on sale. I had an extra $15, 15 off at Target. So, I was like, okay. Then I'll bring my cost down. And I wanted to install two apps. And I will share those apps with you guys. But, long story short, in order to get those apps on this tablet, I had to download Google Play Store do all of that so I did get that installed but I couldn't share it with my children on their little profiles or whatever if you know how these tablets work then you know that the kids have a profile and then there's a parent dashboard and it was all too much so yeah here's how I really feel about screen time so if you've been following me on Instagram or if you know me personally do you know I'm not a huge fan of screen time for your kids especially not before the age of two so that can tell you a whole lot if you know about like the research and stuff like that but if you don't um screen time before two is just a no for me you know um it's just a no like i don't put on videos for my son to watch i don't put on movies for him to watch specifically i don't sit him in front of a tablet or anything for to keep his attention while i'm doing things it's just a no-go for me because screen time can affect his behavior it can affect his language development and it can also affect his sleep so that's just a no for me now facetime videos is totally different i was actually opposed to that as well but he's able to see an actual person like on the phone um and especially for like family members that stay hours away or whatever that's still a time for them to kind of you know interact a little bit so i'm not opposed to facetime i don't do it often um but i'm not opposed to it for him so screen time for my kids i have a four and a five year old and let me just tell you they do not do more than an hour a day and for the longest time they didn't even get 30 minutes a day because i realized that it affects children in different ways and so let me just give you a little backstory on how this all came about right so of course i did my research in the beginning like how the screen time affect kids and stuff like that and i also just watched children around me and i realized that when their parents took screen their, their tablet away from them that they had tantrums they didn't know how to control their behavior you know or if they took their tablet away from them they didn't necessarily know how to interact with people around them and so it wasn't like i was you know i'm saying this from a place of you know um like a bad place it's not that i just watch i'm very observant so i watch how different things affect kids and i'm like okay maybe i shouldn't do this for my children maybe i should see what's the science behind it or whatever the case may be and so that was that but there was a time where i used to take my children to the doctor's office they didn't want to be there and as soon as we got in there they used to cry and because i was a new parent i was i was embarrassed on like them hollering and screaming so i thought that i could put on a video on youtube for them to you know watch while i was in the doctor's office and it took me maybe two or three times of me doing that to me for me to realize that I was kind of handicapping them and that I wasn't helping their behavior at all. And so I was like, you know what, girls, if you're going to cry, you're just going to cry, right? Because there's no way I'm going to allow you to watch a video at the doctor's office and you're still crying when I don't even let you watch videos at home. And so I felt like there was a way for them to kind of like manipulate me to you know giving them the phone when they know that okay if i cry at the doctor's office or anyway any place away from home then i can get my way but no that's not the case so yeah screen time for ages three to five less than an hour usually i try to do 30 minutes here and there not like consistently and this is in a wide range of ways right so i'm going to share like how we use it in our homeschool maybe the top five or six ways and so yeah the first way that we're using screen time in homeschool is before i say that i'm going to say that my children don't own a tablet or a laptop or anything like that right so i did show you this little tablet that i bought 
but it's going back to the store right and so i i thought about getting them too i was like they can get two you know they, they need their own thing but i thought about it i was like you know what if i give them two tablets and they're both on their tablets at the same time there's no way for me to monitor what they're doing right and i'm a huge fan of if your child is on their tablet you need to know what they're doing you need to know what they're watching how they're interacting with it you know how they're behavior wise are they just swiping you know you know whatever the case may be that's me so i was like you know what let me test out this one tablet to see how they do together you know to see you know what i need to do like do i need to get two it's will one be fine would they share whatever the case may be so that's that and i told y'all in the beginning of the video that with this tablet it's too many like settings and overrides and just too many steps to get what i need on my on the tablet i'm not a fan of them reading ebook ebooks and stuff like that on the tablet because i prefer them to have the physical books to be able to touch you know and all of that my purpose me wanting them to have a tablet was for specific reasons only not for them to have downtime not for them to have all the time so that's that so the first way i'm using screen time for my girls is to supplement certain books and lessons that they do so say for instance with eliana we have this workbook called 180 180 days of geography right and so that workbook is in black and white there are no color there are not very many images but they talk about different topics and so i feel like if you're talking about landforms if you're talking about different foods around the country if you're talking about different languages i feel like i need to supplement that with a video so of course with landforms i can go around the city and find different lakes and hills and mountains and stuff like that but also like sometimes in that moment to give a better clarity to give a better understanding i will pull up a youtube video and i will pick the video i wanted it to be like real realistic you know actual video footage not cartoony not like bouncing all over the screen i'm not a huge fan of that huge fan of that but that's one way that i'm using it um in our homeschool the second way we're using screen time is for books so books is an automated storybook app that has a wide range of stories a wide range of books that your that your child can pick based on their interests um, the book is exactly how it is in physical copy, but it's animated, so that means they're reading the book and also it's being acted out or animated, you know, on the screen. And so I love that for the girls. So sometimes when I want to get a new book and I'm like, you know what, I'm, I'm over my budget for this week or this month or whatever, let me check and see if it's on books. Or sometimes when I want them to read a book and they just want to be more interactive, I will put that on. So I absolutely love books. It's free for homeschoolers. So make sure you go to their website and sign up as a homeschooler to get it for free. Otherwise, I think it's about $4.99 per month. So that's another way. The third way we are using screen time in our homeschool is by using this um, education approach program called Teach Me TV. And so I shared about this on my Instagram page and my Facebook, I think. But it's basically an educational program that's, a, that's designed for ages 5 to 12. There are interactive games. Um, it's from like kindergarten to sixth grade. There's science, math, language arts, um, art, and music, I think. So this is not something they do all the time. Depending on like the lessons or whatever, I will try to find supplementary like interactive games maybe once once or twice a week um they also have printables within those lessons so if you want to do but say for instance part of a plant and then you want to download a worksheet page that's already on that app so we've been using that and then i would say the fourth way we're going to use that we use screen time just as a family in general is to do workouts Sometimes when we're not able to get outside like early in the morning or when it's cold outside, I put on a family workout and we do that together. It is super fun, super hands-on, and I'm able to watch what they're doing, right? So depending on what the, how long the workout is, we may do two little mini workouts, one geared towards the family, one geared towards, towards them. But that's the way that we use screen time too. Fifth way that we're currently using screen time is for this new homeschool curriculum, online homeschool curriculum that probably is going to be out when I post this video. I'll probably share that on my Instagram stories. But it's an online homeschool curriculum that's geared towards ages 4 to 8. Of course, I'm still testing it out because it's for a campaign. And so I love it because I'm able to place my kids in certain areas. But the dislike about that is it's very gaming. I don't really like kids playing games all the time, like things just jumping all over the screen. Like, I'm not a huge fan of that. So it's not something that we do every single day, but they do have different courses on there from like Spanish to, you know, maps to the human body to um, 
I don't know, animal habitats, all of that. So two different courses that, you know, can be in, in elective. Um, they do have, you know, different online options and offline options. It's totally customizable. So that's our newest way that we're using screen time. And of course, I'm letting them use my laptop so they're able to take turns. I'm able to time how much they're on there. The app does it as well. So I can set time limits to like 15 minutes or 20 minutes. And then when that time is up, they'll say, come back tomorrow or something like that. So that's that and then i would say the last way that we're using screen time is for just like movies or little shows right so i do let my children watch this show on netflix called the story box and what that show is is pretty much children asking a question and the story bots are going through and finding answers they're using different scenarios you know it's kind of like it's really funny but it's also very educational so you know that's a plus for me and so i found out about that show from a homeschooler I want to say, I don't know her name, but I found out I found out about it from her, and so we've been watching it since then. Those little episodes are about like 20 minutes, I think. And so sometimes they'll watch one episode, sometimes they'll watch two, depending on how much screen time they've had that day. Um, then another show, another show they like to watch is um, A to Twist Scientists. They like to watch. Um, I don't know because they don't watch a lot of shows so those two would be something bad in school but sometimes um but we haven't been watching it recently but i do have a list of shows that that i have approved for them to watch when they do get to watch netflix or whatever and then the last way is just to watch movies as a family yeah sometimes we have movie nights sometimes i let them pick stuff that they're going to watch which is like videos um like music and stuff like that i try to let them listen to the music instead of watching the videos all the time because I just don't want them to get in the habit of always being in the screen. And I feel like, you know, you have to be that example for your kids. And so with me doing YouTube and with me doing content, it's like sometimes I'm all, always on my phone. And I feel like that is influencing them to want to do it more. So I'm having to step back and either do my work in the early morning hours or kind of when they go to bed. That way they're not seeing me on my phone or on my laptop or doing things all throughout the day because if they do that then it's like hey can i watch something or can i do this or can i do that and so i want to be a good example but screen time in general for me you know I i'm i'm just not a fan like i feel like it can be used in so many ways you know educational content is amazing and we don't always see see things day to day so like i said with the geography sometimes um I, we don't have things around us so I need to show them that or sometimes when they ask about animals or just different scenarios you know there are a lot of educational content that's of high value that they can watch so I'm not opposed to that but for me to sit there and let them watch it like all day long or when I'm trying to cook or whatever the case may be I result to doing arts and crafts um going outside to play with like sensory bands or whatever or also um you not going for walks, exploring outside. So that's what I try to do, right? Especially since my son is not two. I try to limit the screen time as much as possible because he's walking around now and he's walking in on them watching TV. And it kind of stops him in his tracks. And I'm not a fan of that. So um, all in all, though, the girls do not have more than one hour of screen time per day. They just don't. It's not something that I allow. Sometimes if we're watching a family movie, it may exceed that. But it's not like every single week. It's not an everyday thing. And... It's because I know the, the delays that it can cause. Like, it can affect how much they communicate. It can affect them sleeping. It can affect their behavior. Because guess what? If they used to seeing the screens all the time, then when you take it away from them, it's a whole tantrum. Or they act out to get screen time. So, it's like, I'm not a fan of that. I don't want to start that. I don't want to break those. I don't want to start bad habits. You know, I don't want to do any of that. So, that's personally how we use screen time. And I will say that I was like, you know what? My oldest is five. You know, she's on the first grade level. Um, she's asking questions because she needs that more. She needs more information. And so that's why I am leaning a little more towards letting her have a little more time, you know, like to herself where we're learning about things and she needs a little more clarity or deep understanding because in kindergarten I had TV I had um computer time in kindergarten I watched movies in kindergarten I did different things but it wasn't like I was addicted to it you know it was something that we all had it was something that was a reward basically because we were so happy to not be in the classroom and not having to do you know be in the same place all day long so I don't want to hide technology from them I do want her to learn computer skills and how to work certain things but 
I don't want it to be to the point where she's dependent on that and she can't function and think for herself. And one thing about my kids that are super creative, super creative, especially if we're not going anywhere and they want to, you know, I don't know. You have to see some things that they do. And I probably post it. I do post on Instagram when they do little creative things. But that's another thing. Like sometimes being in a screen, watching other kids play or just watching other people do things, it, it masks their creativity. And when your children is not able to see what other kids are doing, they have no other choice but to think of things themselves. And let them be that. Set their own trends, basically. Like if they see a child drawing something like a flower, they probably gonna want to draw that same flower because they see somebody else doing it. But if they don't have like anything to pull from, then they're more than likely to do it on their own. And so that's where I see the benefits of not doing screen time. There are so many ways to be create, so, so many ways to be creative. There are so many ways to bond with them. There are so many ways to. Um, practice language development, social skills, um, practical life skills and all that <clears throat> because it's like there are no distractions and sometimes with screens and like some of the shows they are super overstimulating like there's so many things moving so fast it's just super flashy, super fast paced and that is not good for anybody. The same with adults on you know TikTok, Instagram, um, the videos are getting shorter and shorter, the editing is getting super super um super advanced to the point where i don't even want to watch it anymore but um yeah i just wanted to share it with y'all a lot of people ask me how i feel about it like i don't of course push my views on other people but if you want to know like more about where i'm coming from like some research studies or things like that i'm more than happy to share but i know that in those early years the the child brain grows 90 percent within the first five years and that 90% of what's being formed and all of that is what's going to carry them on for the rest of their life. So I try to set the foundation early. If you do get screen time, it's very minimal because I want you to have a solid foundation of you being creative, of you knowing how to communicate, of you knowing how to handle certain situations, of you knowing how to regulate your behavior, of you knowing how to do things outside of what you see other kids do on TV or in movies and stuff like that. And I don't want them to be super influenced by certain things. So things like YouTube kids, things like, I don't know what else, I don't let them watch that, but it's like things that are marketed to kids is not um, appropriate shows. Like there are always hidden things, talking about things that you would not want your child to learn about. And so, to just keep from having a mask and watch all these shows to pick out what's not right. I just limit it all together and choose shows that I have watched and shows that I am comfortable with letting them watch. And we just keep it to a minimum. Um, with the apps that we use, they don't have any ads or anything. So they're not persuaded or, you know, seeing things that they're not supposed to see. And so, yeah, that's just where I stand with that. Now, I do plan to share a little bit more on these on this you know if anyone is interested in knowing exactly why and how but as of now that's all i have on screen time thank y'all for watching